welcome to another day in my life. Let's catch up. I know we haven't talked in a while and I feel like I've been keeping a lot from you guys because I just feel weird about the internet and myself, which is like really um, weird because of my job, you know? We all know I'm an influencer, content creator, whatever you want to call it, but I go through lots of ups and downs of just wanting to hide from the world, but I also post everything about my life, but then I also don't, so it's just like a weird game, and then like I see other people doing things, and I'm like, oh, should I be doing this? Should I not be doing that? I don't know, but anyways, uh, I'm going to give you guys a life update because you've been asking for that. Um, I'm currently in the process of trying to get my car situation figured out. So um, I just recently got my car back after like two to three weeks of her being gone. We've named her Cleo. Still haven't given you guys a car tour of Cleo either, which I need to do. But um, I got a Tesla in April and we've been experiencing an issue she just shut down. Both of her batteries completely died. So normally, like in regular cars, not electric cars, a battery will die and you just like replace it. But with mine, I have two batteries and both of them died. So the car was like completely just trashed. Um, and if I didn't have a warranty, I would have had to pay like 20 grand for it to get fixed, which is a lot of money. <laughs> So um, that was covered thankfully and then got her back. She was working just fine And then my boyfriend and I were uh, Driving to my apartment on the highway at like 5 p.m. Traffic was a little heavy It was very like stop and go and the person in front of us abruptly stopped or braked and um, I got rear-ended by a Volkswagen and their car was literally totaled. No one was hurt. Everyone was safe. But yeah, his car was completely totaled. Also, I'm pretty sure the dudes were like really high. Like it smelled like straight weed in that car, which thankfully they didn't get in trouble because I don't really care about that. Um, and they were high school boys. Like he was really young. He, you could tell he like just got his license and his whole family showed up. And I felt so bad because I was like, I remember when I got in my first accident, like I felt like so stupid and helpless and like you feel so bad but you really can't do anything about it and you just want to fix it and I felt really bad for him. So that happened and I, it's been a while, it's been taking a minute for the insurance to get my claim figured out but we finally got that set up but my boyfriend and i were like let's go to vegas um and drive because it's like it's like a short drive four hours from arizona five and we've done it before in a rental car and it was completely fine so we did it and we got a flat halfway through and if you follow me on instagram you saw the stories about this um we were literally stranded out in a city called wickenburg um no ubers we we're like two to three hours away from arizona or excuse me from phoenix scottsdale so no one's gonna drive all the way out two hours to pick us up and then drop us off and come back and then obviously there's no ubers in wickenburg at 1 a.m so that was the situation and um yeah that that was that was a lot it was really funny like surprisingly not actually surprisingly we always have fun wherever we go my boyfriend and I made a huge joke out of it and we still had a lot of fun sadly we didn't go to Vegas but we still had so much fun love him so much we always like giggle when we're together and we're just little jokesters so that was fine but I spent all this morning trying to figure it out trying to get my life together try and find a rental car I tried like calling three rental places that I'm already booked at. I already have a reservation, but none of them are answering. Like for some reason, none of them have um, voice or mailboxes for me to leave anything and no one's answering. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
I'll just go fuck myself. It's fine. Um, excuse my language. Um, we all know I have a sailor's mouth anyways. But yeah, so that was frustrating. I just got a couple of packages in from Princess Polly. Um, and I'm waiting on one from Parachute. So I was like, you know what? You need to get out of your rut. Because I've been feeling really down about Instagram and all that. I don't, I'm just not seeing the response that I used to get. And it's so frustrating to see, like, as a creator. Because you're like, you know, like, I'm not doing my job right. You know, once you thought you had it figured out, you just don't. And it's just really frustrating. But we've been talking in my DMs. And you guys have been so nice. So I'm like, you know, let me just, like, make some other content. I also saw this freaking video by Gary Vee, which I hate how heavily influenced I am by TikTok, but whatever. Um, I saw him post a video and he was like saying about how Instagram is going to be like the next MySpace and how it's not going to last. And I was like, huh, I wonder if it is because a lot of people like me make most of their money from Instagram. And I wonder if it'll stick around. Like, is it going to be the next? Oh my God, I made this wing like way too long is it gonna be the next my face let me post you up like it could be but that would be really scary because that's legit half my income right there but then again i think it's also speculation and it's also gary v i feel like he says stuff i feel like he just says stuff for the clicks you know i don't think he actually means what he says all the time I think he knows it's just gonna start conversation. And then my friend Jenna Palak, she has the podcast Fun on the Weekdays. She was working at TikTok and then she recently quit to pursue her podcast. And she wants me to be on it. And I was just like, damn, I really wanna start my podcast. Like, I have a video, I have a recording recorded. Like, I could literally debut it today if I wanted to my current life situation i really want to move out of my apartment i haven't even shown you guys my apartment just because it's not something i'm like super excited about i'd say like i think you know what i think the issue here is is the perfectionism for me i expect everything to be perfect and then i just like don't do anything and i'm wondering if you guys ever feel like that too like you start projects or you you know you do anything and you're just like i hate it because it's not perfect but like obviously nothing's ever going to be perfect you just have to keep pushing through it like you can't expect everything to be amazing and i have that huge expectation and when it gets let down it's like such a huge letdown to the point where you're like so sad and then i just like stop working and then i feel like i'm letting people down it's like this whole like avalanche of issues and i'm really trying to work on it because i get into these ruts like i swear like two times a month and it's it's uh it's really frustrating it's also like imposter syndrome once again i saw another tiktok oh wait i'm getting off traffic off topic off traffic um i went to nobu last night and i was just telling my boyfriend like I need to stop expecting so much and just like enjoying what's around me it's tough when you travel because you'll go to other places and be like oh my god like it'd be so much better if I like lived there because like I could take pictures and do videos there like you see these girls in New York just standing on the streets of New York and you're like oh my god well if I lived in New York like my content would be so much better there but it's like there are girls in New York that are making content that don't perform well like it it doesn't always have to do with where you are or like who you're with but it really has to deal with like what's inside of you and like what you can create and I created a lot of great stuff when I was here in Arizona so I don't know why I'm getting in this like mindset of oh it's so much better elsewhere you know it's more of like the grass is greener on the other side type of mindset and I just I need to get out of that. It's just, it's very unrealistic if we're gonna be honest here. Okay, I've been loving how I do my makeup lately. I'm so tan right now because I use the Tanologist face drops and I'm wearing the Saint Tropez 
body mousse. It's a mousse. I'm just ranting, updating you guys. Basically, I just am saying I get really antsy in one place and I need to reel it in and be happy with what I have. And you guys should be happy with what you have too because it's amazing. And it's gotten you so far. And you shouldn't compare yourself to other people because those same people that you're comparing yourself they probably think they're not good enough and they're probably comparing themselves to another girl and then that girl is comparing themselves to another girl and it's just like a never-ending cycle you know like it's never gonna be good enough um with that mindset but it, it can be you just have to be like really happy with what you have so that's that's my lesson for today um, I'm also going to do a little Princess Polly try on for you guys. I have a ton of cute pieces that are great for transitioning into fall. I just have to go fix my hair. So I'm going to show you guys quickly my slick bun method. Just get your hair wet. If you're doing a slick bun with dry hair, you must have really fine hair. I personally have a lot. I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. So it feels thick. I always get it extra wet and when I'm like managing it, like slicking it back with my hands, this is pretty much the whole thing that you do is just keep slicking it back with a pomade, any type of pomade. This is the Destruct, I think this is a men's pomade, but I just use a lot of it and I lather it on my hands that are wet so it feels like a lot like a gel and just run it through your hair. All the baby hairs. Scoop up all your baby hairs from the back and bring your hair in like you're going to tie a really tight pony. Use any kind of brush that brings your hair back and start just raking it through. And then you tie it tightly with a hair tie. So just tie it in a pony. extra tight ladies like your head's gonna pop off and then you just grab any clip of your choice this one's from the mayfair group when they were selling accessories i don't think they sell these anymore but i'm sure you can find this if you type in like floral hair clip on amazon um when in doubt check amazon guys amazon has everything and then we just flip her up and we pin her back and that is legit all i do if you have any strayaways, grab more of that pomade and put it on your baby hairs. Literally, just pat it down to your head like you're gluing your hair to your freaking head. Okay? You got this. I love you, bitches. Okay? I need to put on some lipstick. I want to do kind of a fun lip. That'd be fun if we did like a bright like purple or something let's go find a fun lip um i have to show you guys this giant box this is an awful um little sh uh, shelf moment what is this a shelf yeah a bookshelf <laughs> jesus christ i have this giant bucket of just beauty products that aren't used okay and then this whole bucket up here of makeup and more beauty products. Okay, I found one. My room is a literal mess from that LA trip that I was telling you about earlier and just like life in general. But we're going to put on a lipstick. The lighting is changing a little bit, so excuse me. Can you focus on me? Hello. We're gonna do this brown moment. I think we're gonna have fun today. This is Maybelline. It's the f shade Fighter. I think it's their, um, it's a super stay matte ink. And y'all, it's good. I need to get in better lighting. Ooh, I love this color. Ah. 
Ugh, that applies so well. We love. Highly recommend. I have it in other shades, but this brown one just gives me life. I used to hate brown lipstick because I thought it made my like lips look like a butthole or something, but this lipstick really changed my life. And it stays on forever. Like it literally will not come off. I have to scrub it off. And even then, it won't come off. So highly recommend. Okay, JK, I thought I was going to show you guys all of the pieces in like a casual day in my life vlog, but in the Princess Polly rules, I had to say like, thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. Um, and I didn't do that, so... I guess I'm just gonna make it a standalone video and you guys are gonna have to just like head over to my channel into my other videos to go see it but all the clothes are super cute and I'm so sad I couldn't fit it in this day in my life uh, I should probably read the rules before I start making videos but um, you know me guys I'm all over the place um, but in other news I just got this Fendi she shearling shearling strap for my Fendi because the other strap I had was just like a thin chain and it was very like elegant and it was hard to just wear it out because it felt very like petite and the strap wasn't like thick. I don't know, it just wasn't something I could bring around my everyday, but I got this strap and this makes it more like, it looks makes it a lot easier to just wear. So this part is shearling and then the back is I don't know what this is called, like belt like, but I'm so happy with this purchase. She's so cute. I love her. It's like a little pet. I forgot to drop off my key at the Tesla service center and that was literally the entire reason why I stayed at my boyfriend's place last night. He lives 25 minutes away from me. So I was like, okay, I'll spend the night at your house tonight or last night and then I'll go to Tesla drop off my keys so they can fix my car So I go to Tesla this morning and I got distracted with all the rental car situation and then trying to get my car towed to another Body shop because Tesla is not actually a body shop and they can't work on my car And so now I am ubering 30 minutes back there to drop off this key and hopefully I get a rental car So I guess it's not that bad that I'm going back um because i desperately need a car i need to shoot this princess polly outfit i need to do a lot of things and i can't do it without a car so it's such a bummer and i'm realizing like how grateful i was for having a car and my own transportation because that is a literal game changer and i feel really like sad if like anyone's going through a situation where they don't have a car because like i'm seriously struggling like i could not get my job done if i didn't have a car so i'm I'm just feeling like very grateful right now that I even have the opportunity to have like a rental car. So, when picked up my car, it is now at a collision center. I'm eating my fifth candy from the jar here because I'm nervous about my car. He was explaining that Teslas are typically very difficult to fix and the parts are scarce and, or is it scarce? Is it scarce or scarce? I think it's scarce. ASMR. Anyways, he said it's gonna take a really long time. I was like, like weeks? And he was like, like months. And I was like, like months? It's gonna take like months to fix my car. FML. Okay, I got a Nissan Altima, so we're back to gas. I have to fill my tank now, which is so weird. I missed my car! Ah! <sighs> okay, but this is good. We have a car now, not as stressed, and. I posted a new 100 days of Halloween video because I had to re-strategize. If you guys have been following me on TikTok, I was doing 100 days of Halloween, a one costume every day. Oops, excuse me. And TikTok like took them down because of, I don't know, 
sexual conduct or whatever and it was really frustrating to work on videos for them to just be taken down so I kind of like stopped um, but now I re-strategize and we're doing like me styling you guys for Halloween and I show you sites on where to buy your outfit and how to like look like the certain girl or costume or whatever you want to do on Halloween so if you have any ideas comment down below what you want to see and yeah go support me on TikTok go come on TikTok let's hang out there too so I just got done doing fall polls on my stories I just said polls weird fall polls fall polls I did like um platform boots and just like got some fall inspo and asked you guys what you liked and what you wanted to see and then i shortly after started planning we are going to be doing a fall trends video tomorrow except it's not all the fall trends there's so many fall trends and i don't like all of them personally for my style so i picked out the ones that i like the most so we're gonna do like primary color inspired outfits pointing out these sporty shades jewel tone colors monochrome brown outfits puffer coats um olive green dickies and then i'm gonna style the white men's 874 dickies you guys need some they're so cute and then an all leather fit. These are all things that I think will be very trendy this fall and I'll be styling plenty of them. So I'm gonna do it in a video for you. Um, and then we're also gonna do a little back to school moment as well. I am super excited and I'm gonna head to my boyfriend's so we can have dinner. So I'll see you guys there at dinner. Okay. What did we have for dinner? We had a steak filet. And corn. And fresh corn on the cob. We started eating fresh corn instead of the frozen bad corn. And it was literally a game changer. It was so good. It's super sweet and yummy. And we've been upping our cooking game as well. What did we have? We've been eating lamb a lot too. We've gotten so good at cooking the lamb. What else did we get good at? Pasta. Pasta. Oh yeah, I made one pot pasta a la mm. vodka and the Italians on the internet went after me. <laughs> the fake Italians. <laughs> the fake Italians. <laughs> they said that they were disgusted by my one pot vodka sauce pasta <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and that it was like a disgrace to all Italians and that I should delete and throw up or something. <laughs> 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 Who said you should throw up? Wow. There was multiple people that were like very upset by my one pot pasta. I hope you throw it all up today. <laughs> I hope you throw up your pasta. <laughs> you, you disgusting excuse for a human. <sighs> well, um, but that pasta ended up being the best pasta that we ever made. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why it was a big deal. Yep. They were just mad that we poured water into the pasta sauce and then the noodles cooked within it all together as opposed to separately boiling your noodles and then the sauce but i don't know i personally thought it tasted better so whatever it tasted amazing yeah so we liked it sorry italians if you're watching this but we're gonna keep eating it <laughs> what else did we make that was good oh we made um steak tacos and shrimp tacos prefer the shrimp yeah, the shrimp was so much better, like lighter. The steak was very filling. If we do steak vibes, we'd have to chop it like thinner. Very, very thin. But even then, I think steak is too much. That's more for like fajitas. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, so we're not going to do that again. We'll just do shrimp tacos. And um, yeah, we, we did try, filet. Mm. We could try chicken. Oh, yeah, chicken tacos, but we need to make sure it's like shredded tacos, shredded okay. chicken tacos. Okay. But even then, I kind of don't like chicken because it's like dry. I like that the shrimp is moist. Agreed, yep. You know, it's kind of fresh. Okay, yeah, that was a good point, actually. Never mind on the chicken. I'm like, no, fuck you. We're not eating grilled chicken. Mm, I don't want the chicken anymore. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, we've upped our cooking game, and that's been really fun to cook together. And I took all my makeup off except for my Maybelline lipstick. I told you guys this shit does not come off. 
You have to like scrub it off. It's still there, and I'm too lazy to try and scrub it off. So, um, this is a headband from Amazon. And it is currently 10.22. We're gonna go to bed. I hope you guys love this vlog. Half this little clip was out of focus. But love you guys. See you next week.